load. Cat dog said, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got something a little bit different for you this time. We are heading out on a backpack in the Gila and getting a lot of gear ready for field testing. So we've got a lot of stoves we're contemplating taking. We really didn't anticipate taking all of them, but we probably will, because this is going to be really fun. Good morning. We are about 1 16th of a mile into our seven mile hike for the day. I'm not out of breath, you are. <laughs> and denim maneuvers looking out great. We've just finished about two and a quarter miles, mostly uphill, mostly in the sun, kind of hot, but it feels good. And that was the hardest part. So after those uh, 20, 27 aged people catch their wind, we're gonna cruise down the hill into some beautiful Little Bear Canyon. Under roofs of pines, it's starting to drop into Little Bear Canyon. It's getting nice and shady. We're about to box out a little bit down there. It's gonna get real nice and cool. And we're about to hit the Gila River. Yeah. Just, uh, if it goes haywire, it doesn't go back to Right. Gorgeous, A little Bear Canyon at its junction with the Middle Fork. Man, it's just so beautiful. It's just so amazing. I can't even begin to describe. Every time I come here, it's like the first time. Oh my, P.I. Somebody's growing a lot of poison ivy. We're on another adventure. That makes a difference. Yep. Having a wet hat and wet neoprene really helps too. Yeah. One of the best things about this hike is you get to cool your heels going through the water. It feels real good. Ah. This is stinging metal. A very nutritious edible. Two trails in, a little bit further. Oh, this is delightful. We finally found a place to set up camp for the night right here by the middle fork and there's some hot springs around here so we've actually gone and soaked in a secret little hot spring definitely 
relaxing and soothing after that hike. That was a little bit of a brutal hike, but oh, it's just so good to be here. So, it's kind of a new tent for me. It's a WFS, world famous. It's got a real nice profile, it, but it is reliant on uh, sticking in stakes. So I don't necessarily like that. I like the standalone. Let me give you the tour here. So you can just open up the side pretty nice. And then slide right in there. Kind of hang your stuff on this thing. And there you go, just the camp pad in there. For the first real big backpacking trip, I've had this for some car camps, but so far so good. I'm gonna make uh, some coffee with my wood burning stove. This little light titanium wood burning stove. First, I gotta start a fire. That's all it takes for the charcoal. Ah, so all you need is one spark to get the charcoal going. And then you can tear this off for later. And you put your charcoal in your little nest. I'm using a really little nest. Drop that in there and start building my little fire on top. Right. Now I need to put some water in my pot. Good morning. Fresh from uh, soak in our local hot spring. That was really nice. Now it's time for some coffee. We've got a whole assortment of stoves to choose from. <laughs> this is our stove zone. And I'm thinking just for convenience, I'm gonna do an alcohol stove burn. So check this out. This is pretty fun. Harvesting this nettle. Gotta be careful. Put it in my foraging bag. I'll look for some more. We're getting ready to do a field test comparison of a couple of wood burning stoves. We're gonna see who can boil water the quickest. Uh, we're gonna measure it and do it very scientifically. Uh, what, two cups of water, you think? Um, 16 ounces? Yeah, total. Two that's cups a, of- That's a mountain house's worth. Yeah, two cup boil. Um, little stove off, woohoo! Three, two, one, go. Oh, 
people. <laughs> I'm a little behind. Oh, there it is. You just uh, put yourself at the, uh, the disadvantage of not cheating. <laughs> <laughs> That, my friends, is a rolling boil. I think I lost. <laughs> I think you won, man, but I am not giving up. Still gonna do it. Dude, second place. Good job, man. Thanks, man. I feel, I feel good. I feel good about this. Perfect way to start a motor. Morning. Happy Labor Day. This is exactly where I want to spend my Labor Day morning. An early morning soak with a cup of coffee before packing up and heading down the canyon. I'm in a real good spot there. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Justin's king is right here. My queen is right there. I'm in line here. You can't move there, 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 only there. So I say you are in check. Friend. What's up crew? We just finished the wet part of our hike. We got our dry footwear on. We're about to head up canyon a few miles. Um, we're looking forward to getting to the end of our trip. The soda pop is going to taste real cold at the back of the truck. Cloud cover is looking good. Yeah, make a run for it. Overland. 